Hello my viewers, I want to welcome you to this exciting lesson in Revit. As you can see, we have the 3D model here with the ribbon. As you can see, the 3D ribbon is on our elements from here. Now the focus on this lesson is to show you or teach you some tips and tricks that you can use when it comes to working with ribbon. And that is the where you are able to check where the ribbon is hosted how to change you know the element where the riba is hosted and also how to copy or propagate riba within your 3d models as you work with you know 3d riba in revit you see that if i select here we have the three tools under the host we have the select host pick new host and propagate this is what we are going to look at if you've used these tools before don't click you know you know just close this video make sure that you watch up to the end there are some new tips that i just want to explain just in this video to make to make you more efficient without wasting time let's get started in this lesson So before I proceed, I just want to ask all of you, make sure that you like my videos and subscribe to my channel. And for anyone who would like to learn Revit architecture, Revit structure and robot structure analysis in a course, check the links in the description. The courses are there. If you want, you can join me in a course where I've explained the usage of the software step by step on some real project. Okay, so let me continue with the lesson okay so what i want to start with is the usage of the let me just first of all go here and select the river and i want to show you how you can use the select host the host select host just said to, to help you show where the river is hosted if i select the river as you can see and pick uh, click on select host you see that it will show me where the river is hosted okay if i go back to this if i go to this one select on the river then select host you can see that it will show me that the river is hosted right here if i select the river which is protruding like on the upper column but it's a starter bar select on it select host it will show me that the river is hosted right there so it's important you counter check where your river is hosted you are going to see later on the importance of this now if you want to change where the river is hosted for example i have the river here okay i have the river let me start with the base of the river at the base there let me start with this one i have this one if i click on pick new host i can move you know the host for the river from this base to the other by just clicking on pick new host and pick the host there you can see that revit will complain because it's, it's outside where the the river is 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 seated but the host is on the other end so if i click on select host it will show that it's hosted here even if the river that i've selected is this one let me select once again select host you see that it's showing here if i want to bring it here just select on the river okay select on the river and pick new host and select that host it's still selected if i select on select host you see that show that it's right here so that is how you are going to use you know the pick new host and select host to change you know where the river is hosted all right now the river i just want to change or before i do that let me just select some of the river just leave one and explain some more tips and tricks in revit so i'll just go on top there and I just want to select the river from that point up to that point. Then hold the control button. I just want to select what is within the box. If you move your cursor from top down there, then you are just selecting what is within the box. I'll also hold control once again, and you can see that just selecting the river completely enclosed within that box. Okay, then i'll hold shift and the wheel on my mouse you can see that i just selected the river for the column and the base and i want to go to filter check none structural river apply okay and i want to just delete okay so you've learned on how you can do the selection just cancel from there or bit like this now we are right here and deliberate i just want to change the host for the river for this one i'll select on it and i'll click on pick new and i'll host it on the top column there's something i want to explain if i, if I pick select host it will show that it's hosted above so but within the column there the other river right here is hosted down if i click on select host it's showing that it's hosted here within the cell member 
Right now, to copy the ribbon in Revit 2023, we have the propagate feature. So it's just a matter of selecting there. It's just a matter of selecting there. And let's see what will happen. Okay. Let's see what will happen if I just pick on propagate there and just click on that base you see that the river is copied i can select on that other base the river is copied and pick on that base this is how you are going to copy the river in revit 2023 i'm sure even in the upcoming versions and just click on finish there the river is selected now the importance or why this tool is very very important is that it doesn't matter the size of the bases or any element it could be any structural element as long as they, they, they know you have done the proper modeling and the constraining then it's going to adapt to the problem you see that if i just select on this column I just go to edit there and I change the size. Maybe let me duplicate. I just want to change this one. Okay. Let me just add maybe number there, maybe six one. Okay. And I want to change this one to one meter Then click on apply. Okay. The size has changed and you can see that the spacing is still the same as you can see from here. I can select on the river there and go there. It's 150. That is a spacing. If I check the other one, the bigger ones there is still 150. So I did proper constraining. As I've said, make sure to check the video on constraining and, you know, 3D river modeling on my channel. I've explained on how to constrain the river. So it's very, very important. I just also wanted to point out that I'll just undo by holding control Z and I'm back to the same size. So that is how you copy the river. Then you can see that I just copied the rib at the base. If I want to copy the rib on this one, so I can select on that column. Now, remember, I placed the hosting is on different elements. So you see what is going to happen. You know, this is another trick that have, you have to bear in mind. Let me click on propagate rib and I'm still on align by host. I'm not yet on the other one. I'll explain later on. If I click on that one there, you see that because the riba some of the riba is hosted up there the other one is hosted below there you are just going to you know to copy the riba which is hosted on that particular element so it's important that you check the how you have you know you know you have no, not actually constraining but hosting the riba how you have hosted the riba otherwise this is going to happen and if such a thing happens don't panic i'll not click on the green check mark i'll just cancel and make sure that i host it right here let me just click on the riba select host is right here let me select this riba select host is above there so i'll select on it click on pick new host and select that one at the bottom the column click on it then check to make sure that it's hosted right there that is okay then if i select the column there and click on propagate and the same one align by host is selected and now pick this one you can see that now this is perfect and again the size doesn't matter i can select similar elements no matter how different the size is oh let me just see what did i do let me first finish click then select finish up with the other one propagate is selected there and i want to select ah uh, this one here what am i selecting i think i'm selecting a wrong sorry for that i'm selecting a wrong column i'll just cancel simply orbit here to make sure that i select the column at the bottom there the stop column so i'll select the column where the river is coming from right then propagate then this one is selected and i'll select this column Okay, then finish you can see that this is perfect so we have talked about you know propagate feature but i also want to show the other two which is remaining there you see that we, if you want to copy the river up here i can select on this one then click on propagate align by horse is selected and if i pick this one i can pick the rest and finish it to be copied but sometimes you just want to select you know uh, some ribbers within that host and not everything there's another tool that you can use within the propagate for example if i just want to copy the river maybe let me show you by selecting the river here and filter check non-structural river apply okay and okay and let me just delete the river there if i just want to select maybe the river in that direction i can select the river then go to propagate and i'll use align by face then i'll pick this face and pick that face 
you can see that I'm just able to pick that ribber without a problem. So sometimes you may have ribber, you know, oriented in other directions and you just want to copy a particular ribber. You can use these two as you can see, so I can even finish. If I just select the ribber, maybe the stirrups only, as you can see, if I pick the horse, it will copy everything. But if I just pick the stirrups there, then propagate, and I want to pick a line by face, it's selected, and I just want to pick maybe this face here, as you can see. Okay, this face here, and I want to copy maybe a similar face in that direction, just like that. You can see that I've just copied the stirrup. So you can choose to, let me just click on the green check mark. You can choose to copy the specific ribber, maybe take it to a specific element or everything within that host. You are able to use those tools. So once again, make sure that you check the three tools, select host, pick new host and propagate. These are very, very important tools. And as I've said, make sure that you constrain the ribber so that it behaves well, so that even if you copy to a small a much much bigger size is still going to to adapt with all the properties that you set so make sure that you like what if you like what i'm doing like my videos and share with your colleagues see you in some upcoming tutorials